While you can search for academic sources just by throwing keywords into a search box and hoping for the best, a little planning can help you craft a more efficient, effective search that will provide more relevant results and save you from wading through long lists of marginal titles. A particularly valuable search technique is Boolean searching. See our Topics and Keywords videos for more search techniques like phrase searching and truncation. Boolean searching uses three special terms or operators, and, or, and not. A typical research question might be phrased, how do images in the media cause eating disorders in women and teenage girls? Break down the question into a list of important words and phrases. Concept, mass media, eating disorders, girls. Synonyms, movies, television, magazines, anorexia, bulimia, females, women. Boolean and narrows a search to those items containing both terms as represented by the darkest area in this diagram. The results list would consist of only items which have both terms. Items which mention only body image will not be displayed, nor will items which mention only eating disorders without reference to body image. You can combine multiple words and phrases in a Boolean search. For example, advertising and body image and eating disorders and teenage girls. The more words you combine with Boolean and, the fewer results you will get because each result must have all of the keywords listed. If you don't get many or any results, try removing one concept. Boolean or broadens a search by looking for items containing at least one of the terms. This search would result in items about anorexia, items about eating disorders, and items about both anorexia and eating disorders. Use or if you have synonyms or words with various spellings. Examples are gangster or gangsta, genetically modified foods or GMO, or genetically modified organisms or frankenfoods, pets or dogs or cats or birds or reptiles, teenage or adolescent. Boolean not excludes terms from a search. It can be used to exclude different meanings of the same word, as in this diagram. It can also be used to exclude different aspects of your topic. For example, fish, not fresh water. Use not with great care. It may exclude results that have information on your topic. For example, if an article is mostly about saltwater fish but includes the sentence, this paper will not discuss freshwater fish, a Boolean not search will not show this result even though it is all about saltwater fish because the word freshwater appears once. You can combine your string of and keywords and or keywords into one search string, like this advertising, and body image, and teenage girls, and anorexia or bulimia. Just remember, if you don't get enough results, you'll want to remove an and word. Frustrating as it might sometimes be, academic research is really a trial and error process. Try something and see what you get, adjust it a little, and try again. Here's another look at our original question and the concepts and synonyms we chose along with a new question. How does science fiction portray the issues of gender and race? Pause this video for a moment and list the concepts and synonyms you might use as keywords for this new research question. Does your list look something like this? Concept, science fiction, gender, race, synonyms, sci-fi, sexism, feminism, masculinity, ethnicity, minority. Now think about combining your search terms into a more effective search. Pause this video for a moment and decide what keywords you want to combine with AND. Did you create a search like this? Science fiction, AND gender, AND race. Next consider your list of synonyms to join with OR. Pause this video for a moment and figure out how to combine those. Does your list look like this? Science fiction, or sci-fi, gender, or sexism, or feminism, or masculinity, race, or ethnicity, or minority. Now put those two together in one search. Does your search look like this? Science fiction, or sci-fi, and gender, or sexism, or feminism, or masculinity, and race, or ethnicity, or minority. Don't worry if you can't think of many synonyms. You can always consult a thesaurus for ideas. The databases will often suggest alternatives either in the search box or in the subject headings. 
but it will be up to you to select the terms and combine them into a meaningful search. Boolean searching takes some practice, but once learned, it can take your searching to a whole new level. If you have questions, ask a librarian at mokini at hawaii.edu.